Yeah, my topic is how to become example to your team. I think in any workplace, there are two situations when you need to become examples of team. Either things are not working for them and they really need an elevation. Secondly, when they have goofed up and they're really finding someone who can help them. So I'll give you examples for that. I was into a collection and recovery business uh, for my company. And I was giving different techniques to my people in the collection, but things were not working. They were just coming out average every time, every time. And I want to take the level from this level to the next level. And to set an example, I had to personally, I ensure that I personally visit with them with a couple of outside people during the negotiations. And this helped every time I went with them and the way they gave a personal touch between them with the other party and the way we were able to convert a, a normal conversation into a meaningful situations. And that helped them to crack a deal or a collection, better collection approach. Another example that I would like to give up is when things get goofed up. I, and this time I'm reminded of an example which happened, which uh, Mr. our ex-president and the great scientist Abul Kalam keeps on saying that. There was a satellite launch and, and the, in the satellite launch, is the satellite landed in a ocean. And at that time, Mr. Abul Kalam's boss or senior used to be Mr. Great Scientist Satish Dhawan. And, you know, to get the brickbats from the audience and to face people, people, he bought himself in the front to call the press that it was I who goofed up. Next time, when the same thing was a successful, he put his protege, Abul Kalam, in the front to go ahead and talk about success to the audience. So I would say a great example or to lift a team if it is success, if it is, if it is a success for a department or something, you bring your people in the front. If there's a failure or, the, or if there's a goof up, you go in the front and handle people. Thank you. It's very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very nicely said. The story, I really like the storyline. I could hardly focus on the body language. Very nice, Anu. Uh, Shrikant, uh, can you point us? Yeah, um, he also had quite a few, uh, but I think a lot of uh, gestures were not the ones which we are covering, but mm -hmm. also different ones mm. which he has brought in. Uh, and that is for everybody as well. There were a lot many gestures. Uh, what I pointed out was only the ones which we were tracking. Uh, sure. Uh, so hand gesture was there, uh, high and low was uh, was constantly shown, even process and step by step, uh, but in a different context was shown. Uh, I and you message was there. Um, change was also again constant, uh, front uh, and he was like uh, onto the screen and he used the screen space uh, thoroughly. That's Thank, you. From my idea. Thank you, Shrikant. Very well mentioning that you were also using a lot of body language. Thank you for doing that. Uh, Vishal, any improvement uh, for Anup that you want to mention or anything that you appreciate? Yeah, I, yeah, how Anup spoke, um, I'm very impressed about it. I'll tell you a few reasons for that. First reason is uh, Anup, very succinct and tight message that he gave. He told a story about that, <clears throat> but I'm not, I'm not talking just about the content. I'm, I'm also not going to talk about the body language. I'm talking about the conviction. That's what I'm sp speaking about right now. How I many of you saw that conviction that when he was talking about, he, he exuded that. So <clears throat> especially the body languages that he was used, right? So anytime there was a goof up, he moved ahead. Like just, you could visualize somebody moving, uh, moving ahead, moving forward and coming forward and taking responsibility and saying, yeah, that was me. So that conviction is not just about, and I want you to understand, it is not just about, I can teach you all about the voice modulation and the body language and the best techniques in the world. And you have not, even though you have been part of it for a few months or a few years, um, we go very deep, deep and meta. 
but this courage part i'm talking about this conviction part you know that is something that comes not in just speaking practices but how you're leading the life outside the speaking are you getting what i'm talking about great speaking does not lead to great living great living leads to great speaking so so this is this is an example so anup i want to hear from you quickly uh, conviction wise confidence wise what's the biggest improvement that you see in yourself so far in the last couple of months of of joining the mastermind i think one thing that um, every time i come for a speech i think uh, i look for a connection with the people mm. that is the first thing second thing is i always look for a, a connection via story or a real life incidents you okay. know so 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 that is a reason why uh, you know i connected the collection story you know it just clicked at 15 second just before i was supposed to begin it right. i was looking 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 but nothing was coming in mind but suddenly 15 second before that it clicked in my mind and i spoke about it uh, right. the other story had clicked the moment you announced the topic abul kalam and satish the right. one uh, so i think um, the way confidently you can speak out your thought process uh, with gestures with story uh, and motivate uh, the audience uh, in the way you want them to listen is the biggest change that we have that i oh, yeah. absolutely i'm i'm so happy that you bring it up you know you are a finance guy so i'm going to ask you a finance question okay this is this is for i'm putting you on spot i'm putting it came to my mind it's a funny question so this is uh july sorry june right so january february march april may june it's been five months here in the in the program the time the energy the money that you invested do you think it started giving you positive return in terms of improvement and being the leader that you wanted to be so far it's not comparable at all what do you mean comparable is much beyond that so there are yeah. some things even uh, with money also you can get it yeah so i'm right. saying that this is much behind all those things much beyond that and and yeah and that's the reason i also mentioned the time and the energy that you're putting in in it it's not just being a part you know just being a part of a group or a mastermind is one thing but putting the effort like i'm going to put the effort and do it that's when it comes and i appreciate that so one feedback that i have to take take is when you have full conviction about something listen to me carefully everybody there should be a moment of 4 to 5 second pause somewhere in the speech that will elevate to your speech to another level when you are going on and you have full conviction and before you end the in the you know that you're going to end in 30 seconds and you say that that's the moment he came forward it gives another dimension when you slow down right before you end so that's the only thing that i think will speak take you speaking to an another elevated level does that make sense to you anup yeah yeah i think this is the third time you've given me similar feedback but yeah. somehow when you're speaking uh, you know you are always in a fear that you will lose your rhythm mm yeah and those so, words what you have in your mind to complete that you will be you will just lose it so 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 you just tend to speak out fast right so i'll give you how to practice that do not mm. practice with audience practice alone first take a topic tomorrow when you're taking a shower when you're walking just for 2 minutes speak and time yourself like for 2 minutes and when it's 1 minute 45 seconds 1 minute 30 seconds for example mm. this is for everybody okay not just anup but also i'm i'm telling specifically let's say it's 2 minute on your timer on your phone the moment you can see 1 minute 30 seconds start speaking fast for 20 seconds and then give a pause like make your this train your speaking muscle that way mm. if you do it 5 mm. to 6 days i'll tell you after that you will not have the fear of losing the flow anymore mm. because you're mm. you're practicing that only with the audience and i'm saying practice alone with a few times with the voice and speaking like this and sometimes you take a pause slow down and then you end with the punch do it a few times and next time you speak i i'm i'm pretty sure you will see that big difference sure awesome thank you awesome. thank you thank you, thank you.